Hello, 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 my lovely gems, and welcome back to Gems Life Live, and we're going to get into some things. Hello, hello, my lovely gems, and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we got Benzino. Now, I've been wanting to talk about this, but I'm just letting it unfold as it goes along. Now, we know the controversy of him and Shauna Brooks, the LGBTQ community person, and we know that he's had some other controversy in some motel rooms. And we also know that he has some other controversy with his daughter, Koi Luray. So first, I want to talk about, I really find it interesting that he's in the news right now, just everywhere, doing interviews. Everybody really wants to talk to him. And I've had my own little theories about this. I feel like he is going through like a humiliation thing with the Illuminati because he did have a public beef with Eminem. And I think they're making him redeem himself so that his daughter, Koi Ray, can be something big in the industry. This is just my conspiracy theory, but I really think there's legs on that. And a lot surrounding about his sexuality, I feel like that's really in there with the humiliation. Now, he's going nuts. He was posted up saying that he will D.I.E. for his, and he's not letting his manhood and his integrity get defamed and discredited and he's also been lashing out just about certain things about his daughter basically saying that you know he made her he loves her but then she comes back and says that he's leaving threatening messages to her and her mom and giving her text message or text messages behind the scene that are totally contradictory of what he's been saying in the public so I just want to ask you guys what you think of this. Do you think that Benzino is actually losing his mind? Or do you think that he is going to going through a humiliation period where he is now going to get back into the industry because he just did an interview with Candy? And I find that even with all this like game, Hassan, and a lot of talk about G-A-Y stuff, and then also Benzino, and it's all in the news at the same time. I feel like it's really an agenda that they're really pushing. And all the rest is just drama to kind of like desensitize and take away from the actual agenda that they're pushing. And then the D. Wade and Gabrielle Union showing their daughter. Like it's all very... Mm, Illuminati-ish. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So hopefully Benzino doesn't get into any trouble because he's already been threatening, saying he'll go to jail for life or he'll D.I.E. And he ain't fooling around with no transgender. So, you know, there's a lot going on. Coyle Ray is basically sick of him. And she said that she's like reporting his Instagram pages because he's just like he needs to go sit down somewhere. And then we have the controversy with 50 Cent. Benzino is calling 50 Cent the first 6 9 basically saying he ratted on Irv Gotti and them for the Murder, Inc. situation and that he helped him actually get the service car to the hospital back then because he stumbled into his studio after he got stabbed up, apparently by the actual Murder, Inc. gang members. So Benzino is now signing paperwork to challenge 50 cent to a boxing match so do you guys think that 50 cent is going to actually sign it and actually box benzino and who do you think would actually win i mean i know benzino has no neck <laughs> but do you think that he would take 50 cent out or do you think that 50 cent is big and can actually fight anyway please leave your comments below on either one of these topics surrounding benzino or anything else that i mentioned down below and please subscribe. That's most important. And hit that like button and I'll be back, my lovely gems, with another video. Bye for now.